And today we have breaking news involving boosters for the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. The FDA's advisory committee unanimously voted in favor of supporting a booster dose, and that's for all recipients age 18 and up. Kimberly Gill is in the newsroom now with the very latest on this decision. Kimberly? Sandra, good afternoon. Unlike the boosters for Pfizer and Moderna, which were authorized or supported only for certain high-risk groups, these boosters would apply to everyone who received their first shot at least two months ago. Today's meeting has been much more contentious, I would say, than the previous ones. Both the FDA and the expert panel expressed concerns about the quality of J&J's data, including the small number of participants in some parts of the research and the use uh, of <clears throat> excuse me, and the use of an unvalidated test. J&J &J argued while their initial effectiveness is lower than the other vaccines, it's steady and a booster will increase it. The FDA said there is clear evidence J&J &J recipients are not as protected as those who received Pfizer or Moderna. The Janssen vaccine was only 68% effective against hospitalization. Um, and this is in adults greater than 18 years of age without immunocompromising conditions. The effectiveness um, or protection with a single dose of the J&J &J vaccine is not equivalent to protection at this time um, with either two doses of an mRNA vaccine and certainly not in those groups who have now been um, uh, authorized to receive a, a booster dose of an mRNA vaccine. Well, that lower protection led to the panel's unanimous support for a booster dose. The FDA will take today's recommendation into consideration and issue its own decision. The CDC will then need to weigh in on exactly who should receive the booster dose and when. The committee also discussed the possibility of mixing and matching booster doses 